Welcome to another episode of Take Two with Terry and Tony. I'm Terry and I'm Tony. This week we're doing our big summer wrap up show. Uh, today we'll be discussing the best movie of the summer, the worst movie of the summer, the most pleasant surprise of the summer, and the biggest disappointment <laughs> of the summer. Uh, we're going to have uh, Tony lead us off. Go ahead. What's your, your best movie of the summer? What I have is the best movie of the summer, which is pretty much no surprise by anybody. Uh, the Dark Knight Rises. Uh, the Dark Knight Rises. Oh, surprise. Oh, really? <laughs> the Dark Knight Rises pretty much was, you know, hands down, for me at least, the best movie of the summer. I don't think anything even came close. Sorry, Avengers, but um, Batman, The Dark Knight Rises was uh, totally enjoyable. I was on the edge of my seat the whole movie, and I really can't say any. There was flaws, but flaws that were minute in stature. Continue. <laughs> I also agree with your assessment. Dark Knight Rises was the best movie of the summer. As you can tell from my previous uh, videos where everyone was dogging me about my enthusiasm for the movie, um, it was still the best movie of the summer. Now, if you had to pick a runner-up, well, would it be a runner-up? Runner-up would be Avengers. Okay, mine yeah. would also be the Avengers. Uh, let's move on. Worst movie of the summer. Worst movie of the summer, which Terry is the reason why Terry will be fulfilling this bet, is Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. Uh, yeah. I disagree, sir. Yeah, well, let me finish. The movie was crap. <laughs> like, how it was crap. However, there was a crappier movie. Yeah, I don't think It so. was called Battleship. Battleship was crappier than Abraham. There's no what? No, not even close. What about that what? stupid Disney movie, John Carter? You think? No, we're talking strictly we're talking summer. About summer movie. Strictly oh, summer. That wasn't summer. That was March. Oh. Did you come? Did you watch these movies with us? Yeah. I thought you did. You're you're the worst producer ever. <laughs> you're the worst brother ever. You produce crap. You look like crap. Oh. Hey, 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 children, let's get back to it. Anyway, <laughs> do it. No, Vampire, Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter was the worst movie. I'm sorry. Battleship was a bad movie, but Abraham Lincoln made me mad when I left. No, Battleship like, was horrible. Like, this was stupid. Battleship was boring. Okay, you can't say uh, Abraham Lincoln. Don't, don't, that, for people, spoiler alert. And y'all, folks, first, spoiler alert. You don't need to see the movie. Second, spoiler alert. That whole scene with him on the horses... Pretty much set the tone for that whole movie. That's what the reason why that movie was. Crap. Okay, you know, Battleship, the opening credits to the ending credits was <laughs> horrible. Everything in between that sucked. Okay, Man. the whole movie was garbage. Uh, we'll, we'll just have to be agree to disagree. Yes. And what is your your pleasant surprise movie of the summer? Uh, my 2012. Ple my pleasant surprise movie for the summer would be The Amazing Spider Man. Uh, I kind of went in there with low expectations. I and, also did. And uh, it actually was actually a pretty good movie. So I was pleasantly surprised. And uh, it was a good movie. Yeah, I also chose The Amazing Spider-Man as my pleasant surprise of the summer. Uh, because, I, like I said, I had low expectations, especially coming off of Spider-Man 2 and 3. Um, they were disappointments to me, and I thought that this was just going to be another rehash. And I thought it was just going to pretty much uh, suck. But it did not. And I was ple pleasantly surprised. Now, another movie, honorable mention, uh, Men in Black 3. I thought that movie was going to totally be uh, be horrible, too. And it was actually pretty enjoyable. Yeah, so I give that as a runner-up to the pleasant surprise. Biggest disappointment uh, of the summer for me was um, Snow White and the Huntsman. What? Really? Snow White and the Huntsman, I, I did not enjoy that movie. I went in there, I was hyped. Okay, it started off me, didn't really care, and then I was seeing the trailers, and this guy over here was getting me hyped for it. So I was like, oh, okay, this movie actually might be pretty sweet. But after watching it, I didn't like Kristen Stewart in there. I thought, Charlize Theron, she was alright. Um, the Huntsman pretty much didn't really do anything to me, it didn't seem like. And um, just the story was could have been way better. I have to disagree. I enjoyed Snow White and the Hunters. Now, it wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be, but it was very enjoyable. My di biggest disappointment of the summer was a movie that I was looking uh, forward to, was actually on my top five list, was um, The Bourne Legacy. 
I was so disappointed in that movie. I went to see it. I actually cut out of work early to go see it, and I was disappointed. I fell asleep in the middle of it. That's how 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 disappointed I was with the movie, and um, it just didn't live up to expectations. It, it was kind of boring, to be quite honest. Now, now I do have an honorable mention for the biggest disappointment, even though I gave it, you know, a salute at the time. But Prometheus, I don't know, Prometheus let me down. I thought it could it could have been better. I was looking for something uh, a little more what more what more gruesome and bloody. It was so. Gruesome. It was not nah, gruesome. I don't, think, nah, I think it was gruesome. When she had that baby, that was that's so all. Gruesome. If that's the only thing you could base it off of, which that part was nasty. That, 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 that was the sick. Whole movie. That was pretty, pretty sick. Stuff. But I don't know. I've seen worse stuff on Dexter. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I was looking for more of a more gruesomeness. But I mean, you know, Prometheus. I mean, the uh, special effects and everything was sweet. But yeah, that was probably be my honorable mention for the. A disappointing. Well, okay. Let let me ask you a question. So you have Dark Knight as your as your best. Avengers runner up. What would be your third? What would be my third? Because mm-hmm. uh, you know, I know, I know. Dark Knight is here. Avengers is here. What would be your third? I see. I'd probably say Spider Man. Spider Man. Okay. Yeah. What about you? Um, I think it would be a, a tie between Spider Man and Prometheus. Yeah, I think it'd be a tie. Between. Well, um, that is our movie wrap up for the summer. Um, I think how how right were we in uh in our predictions? Um. I think we're no, no we're, we're pretty seventy five, eighty percent. Yeah, I think. I mean, I have Abraham Lincoln was gonna suck, and you said Bash yeah, was suck, and they did. both did. Right. You know, suck. So. On our in our top five, I was only disappointed by one movie, I think, because I had Dark Knight, um, Avengers, Prometheus, Snow White and the Huntsman, and The Born Legacy as my top five of the summer. The only one that disappointed me was The Born Legacy. So. Mm-hmm. I think that was a good, oh. good prediction about my, you know, how I would feel about the movie. So. Uh, producer? Yes? How did you feel about this summer's movie? Yeah, what did you think was the best movie of the summer? Spider-Man. Spider-Man? Yep. I should beat you down. Spider-Man? You thought Spider-Man was better than Dark Knight Rises? My good. You yeah. thought Spider-Man was better than Avengers? Yeah, I, Avengers was good, but yeah, I mean, I mean, well, yeah. you have to understand, our our I producer love Spider-Man. loves Spider Man. Yeah. So like she seems like Spider Man could do no wrong, even Spider Man Three, which is that was suspect. A good movie. No, oh my god! Oh, See, that just lets oh, you know right there. That just lets oh, you know right fail. there. That just lets fail. you know. Fail. Okay, what was the worst movie of the summer? Yeah. John Carter. It wasn't the summer movie. Quit saying <laughs> that. Oh, what are the summer? Wait, movies? wait, wait. When Johnny. I tap on tap on the <laughs> table, <laughs> you tell me what. Right. Tell me what the summer movie. Summer movie. Any movie that came out from May first. I, I don't even know. Any out. movie that came out from May first till August tenth. That does not help me. Okay. I don't remember when movies came out. We got Battleship, Dark Knight Rises, The Amazing Spider-Man, The Born Legacy, Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. Snow White and the Huntsman, Prometheus, uh, Men in Black Three, Men in Black Three, Avengers. Well, okay, it's not. I can't really say. Wait a minute. What the heck was that? I didn't see. What is this, Mister Rogers' Neighborhood? I didn't see some of the movies. Is that Mister McFeely? <laughs> well, our produ- while our producer answers the door, uh, we'll get back to her. So, um, as if we have. Uh, Told you before that I, I have to fulfill the bet with the uh, cutting of the grass in short shorts. Um, that's not going to happen this week. That video will pop up at any random stalling, time. Stalling, folks. I'm not stalling. We we'll keep stalling. Okay. Now back to our producer. Okay. Of the options that you gave me, it's not fair, though, because I didn't see Abraham Lincoln. I didn't see The Born Legacy. I didn't see Men in Black. Well, I know. But what did you see? What out Of the, of the ones that I did see, I guess, Battleship. Was the worst? Yeah. Oh. You really in the golden record saying that? I just did. Yeah. Even yeah. with Rihanna, look, even with Rihanna in there, she did a good job. <laughs> she made the movie. <laughs> she made the movie. So. I like Rihanna. Okay. As you can see. All right. 
Yeah, Battleship was the worst of those. But, like, I, I didn't see those other movies. All right. Well, um, we thank you for tuning in with us this whole summer and uh, prior. Well, we decided to show up back in this mm-hmm. March. Back in uh, March with John Carter. So we're going to be on hiatus. We'll be back September with a whole new set, whole new format, a new producer, and, <laughs> and just a, a new uh, new spin on the show. So stay tuned for that. We'll, our season premiere will be September 28th. Uh, actually, our season premiere will probably be September 30th. The movie we're, we're reviewing comes out the 28th, which is Looper. So look for us on Sunday, September 30th. We'll be back with a video posted. So, again, thanks, everyone, for watching uh, over these last couple months. And it means a lot to us. Yeah, thank you for your support. Continue to support us in the future. Uh, remember, you can watch us on our YouTube channel. Also, follow us on Twitter at, at Take2TerryTony. That's at Take2TerryTony. So, for Take 2 with Terry and Tony, I am Terry. It's been a pleasure, sir. Yes, yeah, has. <laughs> ah, I think you need to do that. Yeah, I'm Terry. And I'm Tony. And we'll see you in the fall.